If you've been to art school, chances are you've seen one of these. This is a mannequin, and it's a great tool for learning proportions and anatomy, except it's not because it's very bad. It's pretty inaccurate and very impractical. So what I propose is that we gently retire them and see if we can do better using modern tools. So let's start our first 3D character. All right, so we can open our browser and start looking for Mixamo. So what we have here in the character section, a list of characters that we can choose to uh, download and to use uh, as reference for um, any project that we have. Let's type YBot. So what you're going to do is uh, download this and download FBX Converter. So you open FBX Converter and then take the downloaded file, bring it on the left. All right, let's convert it. Let's try to open it. So file, import, FBX. So we import FBX and this is what we get. We basically get our character. What we need to do now is to download Mixamo rig add-on. What we want is to download this add-on, go to edit, preferences, see where add-on is his name and install an add-on. Artwork Mixamo and say install add-on. Hit enable. Now you have the Mixamo control rig add-on installed. You have the little eyedropper. Just select the object armature number one create control rig you've now created your control rig how do you move this um this rig hit control tab and you're gonna go inside a mode that is called pose mode super simple now that i am in pose mode i have access to individual control widgets so now you can move an arm by just moving the hand and the rest of the arm follows. So now you can move the whole leg with just one control, which is pretty cool. That's what a control rig does. All right, so with that, you know how to move a character in 3D and how to have the perfect mannequin. So you can do whatever you want and you can grab a screenshot. And if you want to have a clean UI, just Hit Alt, Shift, and Z, and you have, and you hide all the UI. Alt, Shift, and Z, and then you have access to your thing. All right, I guess we're done here. If you found the video a little bit too fast, I have a longer version of this tutorial where I explain everything I do step by step, especially around the how to move a rig. So even if you're a beginner, complete beginner in Blender, you might be able to follow that. And that is on my Patreon page. And keep in mind, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more we can do with Blender and 3D. And if you want to see an example of that, check out this video where I showed you uh, how I made an entire comic book using Blender. And in the meantime, uh, don't feel the need to subscribe just yet because I, I don't want to put that kind of pressure between us i think this is very new and uh, i don't even know if i like you yet so please don't subscribe don't don't like this video